Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I installed the wig that I plucked in my previous video. Before applying glue to your client's hairline, you're going to make a dotted line using makeup just so you know where to lay the glue. Once you've applied the line, you're going to pull the wig back and clean your client's forehead off. When you're spreading the glue across your client's forehead, make sure that you're spreading it evenly so the glue can dry fast. I was blocking the camera when I was applying the front part of the lace, but when I'm applying the lace, I stretch it and place it right into the glue so it won't have any rolls in it. When you're finished applying the lace on one side, have your client hold the air tab because that can be the easiest part to lift up. I use a small scissor and cut in a zigzag line to cut off all the lace that I won't be using. If you didn't put enough glue on your client's hairline or your hairline, you can always lift the lace up and apply more glue like you see me doing. When you're cutting off the lace that covers your client ear, make sure that you're leaving enough lace to reach close to their ear so it can cover the braids.
I'm cutting the baby hairs, I always cut it diagonally so it can be like from shortest to longest. Now I'm using my got to be glue gel and my cream of nature mousse and souping the baby hairs in place. For this hairstyle, we decided to do some simple baby hairs since we're already going to have a lot going on with the actual style. When you're finished doing your baby hairs, tie them down with 4-5 to five wrap strips and I use a band just to keep it secured more. While the baby hairs are drying, I did go ahead and wet the hair and this is the difference between it being wet and dried. This is what the baby hairs look like after they've completely dried. And now I'm just going to use my bio silk and hot comb to hot comb the hairline. Now I'm going to get started with the actual style of the hairstyle. I'm going to have a heart on one side with some straight backs and now I'm just starting to part the heart. The first step you should do before parting the heart is making sure that you have hair at the back that's covering the tracks. After you've got the shape of your heart, you're going to part it straight down the middle and then take one side and part that in half. Mm -hmm. 
I did use a little bit of gel just to have the braids look neater. Now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Once you're finished with the second braid, you're going to unbraid the first braid, the ends of it, and connect the braids together. Since the heart has a v-shape at the top I parted um, a line straight across to make a triangle and then I braided that triangle going towards the other braids that I'm about to braid. Now for the rest of the half of my client's hair, I'm going to do three corners going straight back. But the triangle that I braided before this, I'm going to connect it to the second braid.
Now for the next half of the hairstyle, I'll be doing a butterfly and then two corners going straight back. I'll be adding a picture of what the end result of the butterfly will look like just so you guys can know what I'm talking about when I'm telling you guys how to part it. So the first step of the butterfly would be to make a part going straight down the middle. Then you're going to make a triangle part for the top of the butterfly and that will be a corner going towards the middle. going to do the same thing on this side when I was braiding my cornrow I didn't connect the ends together but to make it easier you guys should do that just like the heart on the other side Now for the next part of the butterfly, you're going to take one half and part that in the middle. On the top half of the butterfly, you're going to make a part diagonally and then start your corner from the inside. Now I'm just doing the same thing to the bottom half of the butterfly. Once you're finished with this braid, you're going to do the same thing to the top left corner of the butterfly and this will be your outcome. Now for the last part of the styling, I'll be doing two cornrows going straight back.
Now I'm using my angled brush and the makeup closest to my client's skin complexion and just outlining all the parts. And this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue watching for more videos of the finished look. And let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comments.